Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I want to talk about creating, editing, and converting PDF files using the highly popular PDF Element 6 Professional. Now, we all know what a PDF file is. We see it everywhere all the time in the form of books, fillable forms, business documents, employment applications, user guides, and such. And of course, in this video, we will concentrate on actually creating a PDF file. What I will do is I will take a look at creating a PDF file using existing templates within PDF Element 6. Now you can create a document from scratch, but I like to use the templates to show you the power of the PDF Element 6. So what I'll do is I'm going to create an employment application form for Saki Tech, which I can then send out to people that they can fill out and submit back to me. So let's dive in and get started. All right, so here's the main screen. This is what you see when you launch the PDF Element Professional or PDF Element. And what you can do here is immediately you can see you can edit PDF files. Uh, you can create PDF files from scratch. You can combine multiple PDF files and you can convert PDF files to other uh, formats such as Word, Excel, and PowerPoint if that is your desire. But as I said, I'm gonna be creating a PDF file using an existing template. And again, you have access to hundreds of templates uh, using PDF Element. So let's go ahead and click the PDF templates right here. And like I said, I'm gonna create a job application. So I'm gonna search for an existing template for a job application. But if you look over here, uh, you have templates for just about anything. Here's a wedding budget template. Uh, here's an email newsletter template. Here's a loan application form. Uh, here's a welcome letter. So you can do just about anything. You would have a sponsorship proposal template. Uh, you have sales order template and on the side you have all these categories that you can actually um, go through and download specific PDF templates. So for example, if I'm running a business, I can use this income statement to create an income statement template for my particular business. Now let's uh, search for a job application template that I'm going to use for Saki Tech. So all you do is you go to the search bar up, up top here and you type in job application and you press enter. And then it brings up all kinds of uh, job applications, preset templates that you can use. So let's uh, use this one right here. Here's an uh, application. Uh, let's click on it. When you click on it, on the top right, you have a button that says download. So you click that button and that's gonna download and open that template using PDF Element Professional or PDF Element, depending on which one you're using. So what I'm gonna do right now is the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off that Subway um, uh, logo and replace that with Saki Tech and I wanna delete this area right here, all right? There's, uh, this text here is not necessary for me. So let's uh, go ahead and add a logo, a Saki Tech logo to this form and the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add fields over here where it says first, middle initial, last, uh, social security number and I'm gonna make sure these things become fillable. So right now I can print this form and give it to anybody and they can apply for a job. But I want to do, I want to be able to send this form to people electronically so it can, they can fill this up in their computers. And that's what PDF element allows you to do. Convert this into an electronic document that is fillable on a computer. All right. So uh, to add an image onto a form, what you do is you go to edit and then from there you click add image. So let's tap on that. It's going to bring up the uh, selection tool for an image, as you can see. And then here's my logo that I've saved. It's called Saki Tech. Let's bring that right in. And as you can see, it is here and I can move this around. I can resize it as I please and whatever, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this logo on top of the existing logo. Just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to stretch this out so it hides the actual text. So this is now an application for Saki Tech and the other company has disappeared. And of course I can use the mouse uh, to move this image around or I can use the uh, uh, keys on my keyboard to move it around for a precise location, okay? So now it's a Saki Tech application. And the next thing I wanna talk about is how to turn these fields here uh, into fillable fields. So right now this is just a regular form you can actually print, but people cannot fill this in uh, using their computers. So to add fillable fields, you go to form, not edit, form over here. And then all you do is you look for the add text field. And just to be clear from here, you can add a lot of stuff. You can add check boxes, uh, you can add radio buttons and all that good stuff, okay? So let's do a text really quick. I'm gonna show you how that works. 
So here uh, is the first name. So you, you, you find the location you want to drop it on, you drop it on just like that, and then you resize it. Okay, so make sure you resize it so it, it's not all over the place. So now people will be able to type in their first name here, and I'm going to show you uh, the completed list in a minute. All right, the uh, form I mean. So let's go, let's do this one line, and the same applies to all the page. I'm not going to do the whole page, it takes forever. Uh, let's go back to form, click text field, uh, click right here. Make sure you cho uh, choose the right place. That's the middle initial. Okay. Let's resize it just like that. Okay. All right. Let's do one more. Go to form, text field, and that's the last name right here. Okay. And that's where we're going to put our last name. Let's make this a little bit less perfect. All right. So here people is going to be able to enter their first name, middle initial, if any, and last name. And over here, what you can do is people can enter their tax ID numbers. Now, the great news is you do the same thing as you did with last name, middle name, and all that stuff. So let's go back to form, click on this, and we're going to do a text field right here. But in this case, this is a number. So we want to make sure that people enter their tax IDs uh, based on what country you are in the correct format. So what you can do is you can right click on this box and you can go into the properties. And the properties, uh, if you go over here to format, allow you to put, put a specific format into this text field. So in this case, it's going to be a number. And then you can do all kinds of different things over here uh, to uh, actually uh, customize this uh, field for a specific format. So if you had a date, you can go here and you can choose date and you can pick what format date you want people to put in. All right. Uh, you can go for special. And here's actually a pre-built social security number. So we'll use the format special and we'll put uh, pick social security number. And then we're going to say close. And now that's a social security number field. The computer already knows uh, what that format is going to be. Okay, so you can do the, all these things over here at the address field, city field, state, province, uh, telephone number, and whatever. Uh, so the other thing I'm going to show you guys is, as you can see, this form has two pages. This is page number one, and this is page number two, some kind of employment test, uh, which we don't need. So if you go over here, you'll see that this application has two pages. There's page number one and page number two. Page number two is some kind of employment test. Let's say that's something I do not need. I can actually remove that, no problem. So let me click this, I'll right click and just go delete page. It's saying uh, delete the page range, okay. So now my application is more simple, it's just one page. I did not need a secondary page. So as you can see, all these forms, all these templates are fully customizable. Now let me uh, save this form. I'm gonna show you what it looks like to fill these in. And I'm sure you're gonna recognize that immediately because you probably do it all the time using different PDF uh, forms. So let's go to file. Let's click save. And let's uh, save this on desktop. Let's say Saki Tech job application and click save. And then I'm gonna go to my desktop. I'm gonna actually uh, launch this file. And there we go. So as you can see over here, I can actually put in my uh, name. Uh, I can put in my middle initial, ABC, and I can put my last name, okay? And it's not coming up, as you can see, uh, there's a little difference in size here, but you can modify that as well when you're editing this file. When I come over here, I'm unable to add, if I press letters, any letters, I have to add numbers, right? So as you can see, no more than nine digits, the way I formatted it is the way it's gonna work. All right, so let's uh, exit here real quick. Let's go back out, right click on Saki Tech job application and edit with PDF Element Pro. And we can go right back in. And again, if we go back here, I can click on properties and I can change the appearance of the uh, actual text. So I can reduce the font size to 10. So the whole thing fits in here, no problem. And one more thing I'm gonna show you guys is just to drive the concept home, is if you go back to form over here, you can actually add check boxes or radio buttons uh, for things like these. So here we have, it says, what type of position are you seeking? Uh, Part-time, full-time, seasonal, temporary. I can convert all these into actual clickable radio buttons or checkmark buttons simply by going over here, uh, choosing this and just putting it right over here, okay? So as you can see, I can group them together also. 
but it's very simple to do, not a big deal, all right? So that's uh, how you create a form using PDF Element Professional, using an existing template. Now this was just one example, so uh, I'm sure you do realize there are so many other ways to get this done uh, using these other template files. Now let's go back home, and again, I just wanna make it very clear that you can actually create uh, PDF files completely from scratch. Uh, you can edit PDF files, existing PDF file. If you find a PDF file online and you wanna convert that to something you want to use, as long as it is not copyrighted, you can come in here and you can edit that, no problem. Uh, you can combine multiple PDF files to make it one big PDF file. You can convert PDF files into Word documents and all that good stuff. And you can also batch process uh, PDF files. So if you have a bunch of PDF files, you wanna convert them all into Word. For example, you can do a batch process instead of doing it one by one. All right, so that's basically everything I wanted to show you in this video. Uh, if this is something you've been looking for, PDF Element Professional is a great way to get it done. Links to PDF Element Pro are down in the description box below, so make sure to go check them out. And by the way, here's a way to win a free license for the PDF Element 6 software. If you have an email address that ends in .edu and you write a review of the PDF Element, you will actually get a free license to PDF Element 6. For details, again, see the links in the description box below. And that brings us to the end of this video. Make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech for more videos to come. And of course, give this video a thumbs up and make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter and even Facebook at Saki Tech Online. Guys, have a fantastic day. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, just drop them down below. Have a good day.